Okay, welcome to our first week sessions, which is a replacement for our our practical task for today. There, okay, this morning there, okay. Kelvin is here, Kelvin. I see Kelvin there. Yes. Okay, amazing. Jeff. Yes, sir. Okay, Kai Sheng. Yes, sir. Neo Huixuan? Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Uh, Yongshen? Yes, sir. Okay, Rick, Rick is here? Yes, sir. Okay, Kai Zeng? Yes, sir. Okay, Yan Yi? Yes, sir. Hu Yi? Yes, sir. Zi Jun? Yes, sir. Okay, and Zi Nan? Yes, sir. Okay, the only person who are not here basically machine there, right? Uh, yeah. Which one basically you class rep Zinan? Uh? Uh, yeah, I mean. You're a class rep, right? You're the one that's in contact me just now, there, right? Yeah. Uh, because I, I asked basically your course rep to, uh, what we call that, to give me, to give you my numbers, I guess, so we can contact each other, there, okay? And thank you also for adding me in your groups, okay, in our groups, there, okay, for these semesters. And hopefully you guys will, will be enjoying basically our session at the same time, okay, show those commitments. Okay, in our lessons there. All right, so let me uh, give a little bit kind of introductions a bit on what we're going to do. And my name is Mr. Faisal there, okay? So I'm going to conduct our lecture class and also our practical sessions, okay? Practical sessions there, okay? So um, on our Thursday lecture class, I'm going to give a little bit more detail on our brief based on our coursework, kind of what we call that summation marks there, okay? Uh, how much carry weight we are going to have in our lessons over here and i believe this is basically a core subject which is you need to pass the subjects there right uh, in order for you to graduate there so that mean okay we need to develop a bit more further on our your skills okay in illustrations kind of works that will help you guys to uh, what we call the upgrade basically your gpa at the same time there okay so welcome to our sessions, okay, digital lesson classes, okay, week one, and uh, what we call that in the first sessions here over here. So guys, okay, I've been teaching over here, okay, around, I can't remember, right, okay, I think around 2013 or 2011 there, right, okay, so it's not earlier than that there, right, okay, so I've been around here there, right, okay, I've been around Thai, you see, quite some time, like, okay, quite long there, right, okay, almost 10 years there, right, so, uh, the, the, the specialization that I have, okay, within the education and also academic background in terms of illustrate or in terms of professional, okay, is basically based on illustrations, the visual illustration there, right? Okay, I'm graduate from graphic design, okay, graphic design, but my kind of major, uh, kind of what we call that, uh, specialized in illustration itself. And I'm doing a bit kind of animations, especially 2D animation and character design at the same time. All right. So before basically we are going to go through a little bit on what you're going to have, you're going to face basically, you're going to be applied on our lessons over here. I just need to give a bit kind of, a bit kind of brief about what I've done there. Okay. You guys need to know basically who actually are going to be responsible okay to give grade and sharing basically the knowledge itself there right so let me check basically what's going to be called that anyone else actually have joined us machine all right in our sessions over here normally there are okay, in our class there right uh, i'm going to call names for the attendance all the times and the other thing that i'm going to do there right here i'm going to demonstrate every single kind of practical sessions mostly all right and the third one at right we need to have some tablets okay i don't know what happens to my camera so all right supposed to have those kind of thing all right tablet there guys okay so i'm going to i'm going to use a lot of these tablets okay in our sessions okay okay these tablets okay. all right this one so anyone have any experience using these tablets any kind of tablet device. If you have your own tablet, you guys can actually use your own laptops in order for you to execute for our lessons. 
If you don't have your own tablet that you can borrow and use our lab computers directly uh, by borrowing from those um, lab assistant right in our lab sessions there. Okay? So you guys can use also our what we call that our lab kind of what we call the tablets that our school university kind of tablets in order for you to execute your works there, right? Okay? So that's basically also one other thing that you guys can do. Okay, in order for you to execute our works there. Without any tablets over here, without any tablets there, right? You won't be able to apply our assignments there. Okay? The quality, the value of your works are depending on how actually you're going to use this tablet there, right? Okay, correct. Okay, that's been part of those digital illustrations kind of works. So if we check look over here there, right? Okay, this is the thing that I've done there, guys, okay? in order for me to execute our lessons either in the My Professional Works or uh, in my kind of academic kind of what we call the lessons there which is I've been shared with my students there. Okay, you guys can see, can see my screen screen right over here. Okay. So if we take a look right now, okay, this is basically one of my behinds there, okay? uh, kind of what we call the domain directly, which is I share most of my work, recent kind of works, and also previous kind of work that I've been working on there before. All right? If you check out there, okay, this is most, most of it, okay, some of it, the, the new version of these works were based from AI generated, but I don't want you guys to use this AI generated in order for you to execute your works there first. We have to go through with the process, which is we need to work according to the right kind of process of developing your understanding okay for your developments kind of works there guys okay so we have three different assignments there three different assignments which is uh, we are going to go through together there okay how to develop on it okay most of it there, okay if you check look at our Google Classroom so we did okay let me check our right? Google Classroom there all right Alright, I'm going to include basically our brief inside this Google Classroom. So as usual, there are okay? That's basically one of the things there. Okay, if we check look at the previous kind of what we call that assignments from uh, the student itself. Okay, let me check that right. Okay, we have around three different assignments and one exercise there. Normally in week one until week four or five, I'm going to give you guys a very light exercise in order for you to learn to develop your skills using this tablet there. Right? So we're going to go through with it together there, right? okay? So if you check look right now, some of the works from one of your, some of your friends works there, okay? Uh, let me check there, okay, some of the best works that I find quite interesting for you guys to look at is uh, based from uh, let me see there, right? Some of your friends were not submitted there, okay? okay? Let me check back again. You guys can see, can see my screen sharing, right? Okay, normally, there, guys, okay, when it comes to develop that kind of works, okay, I will, I will ask the student basically, okay, to submit the works according to this format there, right? Okay, you submit in PDF, but this time basically we have to use Behance. Each one of you guys, okay, need to have your own Behance in order for you to submit your works there because my Google Drive cannot actually accept it anymore. A lot of works that include in my kind of drive there right here because we have some limited kind of space over here. Okay, this is some of this is some of those uh, early exercise that we did for. For a few weeks there okay uh, there's a few more kind of two three exercise that we did there okay a very light kind of exercise that based from uh what we call that 
this tablet kind of usage there right? again. So we're going to draw some portrait drawing exercise, black and white, some still life, and also test some of the brushes at the same time. Okay, uh, that's basically what we're going to do for a few number kind of weeks there before we create those assignments there. One of the reasons I actually need to expose you guys for this particular kind of uh, what we call an exercise because you guys are going to be graduate there, right? Okay? We need to make sure that the student have enough knowledge in order for us to develop your kind of skills in terms of design, graphic design, and illustrations kind of design there, right? okay? So you're going to apply based on your individual kind of skills there in order for you to develop this kind of assignments there, okay? So, and hopefully you guys can also provide yourself to develop your own online portfolios there, okay? Your online portfolios which is, can be used as a part of your uh, self-promotions, self-marketing proportion uh, uh, for your graduated kind of students there, okay, from Thai UC there, okay. So this is basically some of the re some of the previous work that I've done. If you guys want to have a look back again later on, you guys can see there, okay. But one of the assignments that I did with the student is a part of it is it's about this one there, right. This is one of it there, guys. Digital caricatures is one of those assignments all right, one of those assignments for this semester there, okay, for our first project there, okay. I think around week five or week six, we are going to start to work with it, okay. So, from these assignments there, okay, this is a part of it that I've done that before, okay. So, this project basically, okay, we're going to turn over ourselves. And combine with a few number kind of images into a cartoon version there, right? Okay? We call it caricature drawings. This all basically were based from my demonstration with my students, okay? Whether in my classroom or online sessions there, guys, okay? So we're going to go through with this kind of style of illustrations in order for you to execute to your assignments there, right? Okay? Uh, this is a part of it there, guys. Okay, one of the assignments and the quality of works which is have been provided for the students to follow their okay, to work with it. All right, so that's one of it. Uh, the second assignment which is basically is a character design kind of works, okay? I will double check back again, I will brief the later on before we're going to uh, launch, okay? And blast okay, in our lecturing class later on, okay? So if we check, look right, in, uh, right here, there, okay, this is a few number kind of works that have been done by the student itself. Okay, let me check the right where we have here. Okay, Shuki is one of the students which is always have uh, got a very good potential, okay, on, on showing and showcase basically her works there, okay. I really, really basically satisfied with her this is basically some of the research I'm really really satisfied with her kind of report and commitments that she bring over to those assignments there okay this is one of the assignment that we did there okay to develop yourself into a character design not caricatures but character design okay which is can be used for animations or comics etc etc there okay so we have a few number kind of developments. I did that base, that base from your self kind of portrait or photo therapy, that which is we have to develop back again and create into silhouette characters and turn over into a cartoon version there. Right? So this is a part of it. Okay, this is one of the way that you guys can actually give a little bit kind of uh, what we call that showcase. Okay on your own true potential to develop your design and ideas at the same time. So again, what kind of character that you're going to create that based on what kind of styles that can is up to you guys there. As long as you guys provide a very solid kind of references and research, which is a sketches at the same time to develop your skills there. Okay? Alright? This is one of the good examples from uh, Shoki itself there, right? Okay? So she's a, she has a very good potential on her works there, okay? And hopefully she will be shine more, okay, after she's graduated, okay? From degree subjects there. Right? 
So this is one of it, guys, okay, for the second assignment. I will take you back again whether we actually can, can improvise to minimize basically your kind of way of working, the right? Okay, why basically I always choose character design as a part of those core element or core kind of uh, workflow for our assignments there? Okay, one of the reasons because as a graphic design student, okay, you guys have been working with publishing kind of works, there, okay, books, design, brochures, all right, okay, you name it, there, okay, maybe photography, there, okay, web, web page design, there, okay. but if you can add another skills there, which is character design, which is, everyone can design characters, there, okay, but to develop a very good appealing characters is not that quite easy, there, guys, okay, to work. So, in order for you to execute correctly or you want to be develop your own practice there again, uh, we, 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 have to, we have to start with, with the subjects there, okay? So, let's just say if you really want, if you really into those kind of character design, you guys can diverse yourself into multiple kind of what we call the discipline, okay? Whether comics, animations, web design, there again, which is have a mascot, there right, okay? Or product design or brand design at the same times, or maybe some game design there, right, okay? So that's basically one of the things, uh, a multiple kind of discipline or platform you guys can actually choose later on. Okay, if you really want to further your studies or you're going to go through with your careers there, okay? That's why I really, really love to emphasize on character design there, right, okay? So uh, this is a part of it that you guys can go through Okay, that we are going to go through together there, right, okay? And the third one, okay, the third assignment, which is I'm going to be... Alright, I'm going to be an NFT, NFT kind of the, uh, what we call the uh, characters that works there, right? Uh, this one, okay, basically it's a base from 2021, 20, 22, kind of what we call the trending there, okay? Even though I'm not actually into those NFT kind of communities there, okay, or communities at the same time, but I believe that the ideas behind that kind of, uh, what we call that process, okay, of showcase your kind of design there, okay, uh, and multiply basically your ideas is really, really important there, okay, for the student and also the design kind of students there, right? But in terms of venture yourself into NFT, I don't think so there, okay? unless you have a certain kind of directions that can be included in the long-term kind of development for your kind of projects directly. But in a short time, basically, I don't believe that, right? Okay? But we actually can use as a part of our practice in order for us to develop the skills there. So if you check, look like uh, this lady's kind of works there, right? Let me check that right here for you guys over here. You guys are still here there, right? Okay. So, we actually have given a topic for you guys there, okay? Based on the Malaysian folklore there, okay? So, based from there, you guys can choose, okay? Some of the characters that we guys can actually work, okay? Based on those folklore, Malaysian folklore, all right? Like Kanchil, Bird, uh, Sangwayo, Crocodile there, okay? And turn those kind of uh, what we call the elements, which is the characters there, okay, uh, into the characters itself there, into the characters there, right? So, this lady there, right, okay, she has developed a lot, kind of what we call that research, before she finalized her design into one single character that can be multiplied and back there, right, okay? It's very challenging for her also at the same time there, but it's a very good start for her to to open up their mind and creativity therapy to exploring some of the certain kind of art from a specific kind of area that she haven't actually right searched there before that right okay? So from here, okay, uh, if you check later, okay, because she actually have sent it over a progressions. A progression of her works there, okay? This one based from a diploma student when she was diploma there, guys. Same like you guys over here. Same like you guys there, right? Okay? Diploma student there, right? So she also has a final year kind of works together with the assignments there. Uh, even though basically she submit a bit late, 
but not too late. They're okay. around week 14, if I'm not mistaken, they're right, okay. Uh, but I still can consider her submission because her progression is there. Okay, let me check, look at okay, the finalization of, it, of this works there. This is the final works there, okay. There has around 10 different kind of uh, design that based on the same element there, guys. See? How they multiply and combine between the J bird and also a bate okay, element for her design. Okay, I really basically appreciate her commitment from here. Until basically uh, one of the final work that she did for me, okay, for my lesson in digital visualization subject, okay, that we actually have a few number kind of individual kind of works and at the same time she has a group project there, okay. She lead, she lead basically one of the group projects by applying uh, an, a very short animation, uh, what we call that, projects and applying a TikTok kind of what we call that application from there, okay? Uh, we're using TikTok as a part of our assignment, but not more, but not for this subject, right? Okay, or for one of the subjects that, that, that I did basically last year there. So, it's very quite, very interesting, okay, when it comes to see the student can actually develop them, especially her and also her groups that they teammate there, okay? Uh, that's basically one of the things, okay? A few number kind of thing that you guys will experience there, guys, okay? They will be experienced there. So hopefully you guys will get ready enough for you guys to exploring basically your kind of creativities that based on this kind of assignments from the digital life action subject there, guys, okay? All right? So that's basically the thing that we can go through with it. Any questions there so far? Any questions there, guys? Hmm? No? Hey, you guys have taken the, your, your dinners there, right? Huh? Yeah, it did. <laughs> All right, guys, okay. All right, so if you have any kind of questions that okay, get, please basically inform me in our groups or maybe individual kind of WhatsApp that okay? get. But please, please basically uh, what we call that greet me by uh, introduce your name that okay? and which group you have there, okay? Because I have, I will basically are going to manage around six groups, uh, six groups. I think around sixty students plus there, okay, are going to be conduct for this semester there, okay? But I've been waiting for some of those new kind of what we call the timetables there okay but only for me there okay hopefully there is no uh, what we call the other subjects that i'm going to assist okay but this one i'm going to beat and also conduct okay, fully okay in my kind of what we call the supervisions there okay so guys so this thursdays don't skip basically our lecturing class okay uh because uh one of the things is okay sometimes in lecturing class we need basically to have a few now new kind of what we call that uh, what we call the information that, that I'm going to share there. But the thing is that I'm going to, uh, what we call that, be clear with you guys there, okay? Even though we can have a full kind of what we call that sessions, full sessions there, okay, uh, face to face for starting from this semester, that this year there, okay? But if there is a few number kind of occasions, okay, new kind of issues sometimes, okay, whether you guys or maybe mine there, okay? that we need to have an online session like this, especially in our lecture class. I will basically notify you guys, okay? I will basically going to be inform you guys there, okay? Earlier from that, okay? Because in our lecture class, normally I cannot actually demonstrate any kind of uh, what we call the things. I'm just going to share some of the videos. I'm going to share some of this, some of the slides that may be there, okay? And I don't want to get a few kind of what we call that very lame, kind of so-called kind of session in our lecture class day. Okay, I would love basically to show more demonstration from here. Okay, if you guys have any question regarding to your FYD project, which is I'm not basically your supervisors there, okay, but I just want to share some ideas there, right? Please let me know that, okay, feel free basically to share there, right, okay? Because I've been around here quite some time there, okay, quite long there, okay? And the other thing that I've done also other than teaching in in Thai UC, I also have to conduct some of the classes at Taylor's University and also Aswara there, right, okay? the Academy of Sunni Kumasa and Malaysia. And also, uh, the, pre the, the latest one, right, okay? I've been conducting also some of the online sessions for Asia E Universities there. Okay? 
So if you take a look at my portfolios and my kind of sample of work, this is some of the works that I've done. Basically with the student assignments there, okay, which is the, uh, these assignments basically were based from the mandala design, okay, but I exist only the subjects, okay, last semesters with Mr. Don, okay, and I start to develop this kind of works with the student itself, okay, based on their assignments there. So, normally, my kind of way of practice of developing those lessons, I'm going basically to do a lot of uh, what we call that uh, demonstrations there. That's basically the style that I've been working on, okay, for the past 10, 12, 11 years there, right, okay? So, if you take a look right here, okay, this is one of those demonstrations that I did for introduction to illustration subjects. Okay, when we when we actually have some MCO kind of issues, okay. So at that time, basically, I have to convert basically my kind of sessions from traditional media into digital media for multimedia students. One of the reason because we cannot have a face-to-face -face sessions, and I had to, I had to basically improvise basically the lessons into a full online directory at the same time the demonstrations I have to convert into digital medias there even though uh, for uh, for the past one or two sessions or maybe four sessions I'm working with the with the traditional kind of way I'll put some cameras okay and then I'm going to demonstrate how actually we start to do those drawings there right but after that okay after that right I we need to quickly convert okay and and ask the student to change basically the media into digital media instead so it's a very harsh kind of what we call the process but this is basically came from the same batch of students from Shuki they just know that okay they actually have an experience with me uh, three semesters almost three semesters uh, I think three semesters there okay from three different subjects there okay so I've been trained them basically uh, what we call that continuously train them in the beginning process okay until they actually have uh, what we call they continue their studies into those uh, degree there okay so they actually have had basically the ideas of what to expect in my lessons in my sessions there okay and they really really into that particular kind of what we call that work there okay and I really 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 respect basically their commitments and I did not basically, Iraqi, uh, what we call that, I'm not actually Iraqi, expect basically they, they're really, really into basically the thing that I've been working on with them, the Iraqi, until basically their degree kind of lessons there, Iraqi. So that's basically one of the best commitment that I have from that batch, the Iraqi. Hopefully your batch also can be more better, the Iraqi, in order for you to develop those kind of skills there. So this is a part of those assignment exercise that we did together for this introduction to illustration subject there, okay? which is you guys also can actually develop them at the same time okay, when it comes to those exercises then so we did a lot of those kind of development from there okay even though you have around four to five subjects you know, I'm not mistaken there, okay, for this semester there hopefully you guys can connect it basically and in line basically your kind of FYP project and also our assignments there so at the same time there, okay? And of course, if you guys following basically all the methods that I've been working on there, right, okay? It's easy for you to score my subject there, right? Okay? That's basically I can promise you guys. Okay? In terms of looking into those, this is basically only a rough, a rough kind of what we call that, um, brief there, guys, okay? Normally, okay, for the final works, is around 40%. The second assignments around 30%. Project one and the exercise are going to be around 30% uh, if I'm not mistaken. 30% already. Okay. We actually divide into uh, 15 to 15 for what we call that uh, carry marks from there. So that's basically the things about those assignments a bit. I'm going to give you a bit more, hopefully more details okay, in our lecture class. All right, so you basically have actually have adapted basically our systems, okay, uh, for the past few semesters there. All right, about the AI journey there, okay, I have a few number kind of experimentation that I did there, okay. 
This is a part of those AI kind of what we call the generated images that I did in order for me to combine my kind of what we call that characters, my kind of personalities, characters, and a few number kind of cybernetic kind of punk kind of what we call that robotic kind of elements there. So for me, there are things. Using AI generated is a part of the way you guys can develop those ideas, how to find more ideas from there, but not to finalize your works. Because if you really want to finalize your works, for me, there, okay, when you submit your works there, right, I really need to see your sketches there, guys. Okay? This one basically a part of my uh, experiments, how to develop new characters there, okay? toy kind of design before I'm going to redesign back again all these characters and made into 3D elements there, okay? So that's this, this is basically my kind of what we call the experience there, okay? Experiments to develop those ideas there. I'm using AI generated in order for me to uh, develop ideas, not to finalize my works there, right? Even though those, those kind of output is quite stunning there, okay? But in terms to develop those kind of characters, we need a multiple kind of positions there. Front side, three quarter view, uh, side profiles, and back view in order for us to execute those kind of design correctly. Okay, so this is a part of those uh, experiment kind of what we call that um, method that I use AI generated, which is mid journey there okay, in order for me to develop my own kind of personal characters into a more uh, what we call that fantasize on those kind of superheroes kind of design characters there right? so i planning basically to design um, uh, what we call that some toy kind of action figures there right? okay? uh, using these kind of characters there right? some of the characters from here so i want to develop a few number ideas before i'm going to execute them back uh, but this one they basically uh, a kind of like a poster design which is I create those characters that base from this Chinese New Year kind of team there okay uh, because I actually write uh, born in the rabbit bunny kind of years there which is this year there right so I made a very special kind of what we call that design that base from AI generated and before I'm going to design them I start over with the with the sketches there guys these okay, sketches there all right, so make sure you have a few number kind of sketches before if you are if you really want to use AI generated images there right make sure you have uh, basically a few number kind of sketches there before you generate those images there right okay uh, that's basically one of the criteria that if if you guys want to explore AI generated images there right okay? applications there. I'm still going to ask you guys how many sketches you have developed there, right? okay, in order for you to work with it. And the combination between the elements, I'm using Photoshop there, right? to manipulate those images there. Alright, so that's basically one of the AI kind of generated images that I've been experienced there okay, before. Alright, okay, what else there? Okay, about design, okay, multiple design, okay, this is one of the character design kind of uh, assignments that we did basically okay with the student itself there okay how to design a basic characters that based on images combine those images together to create one position of character design there okay for the first year student first semester there right so for for my kind of what we call the lessons normally it's really really challenging there, guys especially if you actually if you doesn't have any interest to develop them, you will find a very hard way to develop them, to do to, to, uh, what we call that, to, to follow, to execute them, okay? But for me, the okay, I actually going to include some industry kind of practice. The real industry kind of practice in order for my student to execute their assignments there. Okay, I don't like to give basically a very conceptual kind of what we call that education's only kind of purpose right okay? but my kind of assignments you guys can actually improvise and redevelop them back into your industrial kind of practice because I came from two different kind of worlds there guys academic and and of course a practitioner's there industrial kind of practice there right 
That's why my kind of assignments normally are going to be looked into more like a professional kind of assignments works. Even though I try to limit kind of what we call it, the process, even though I try to make a little bit more lighter for the students, right? but still, it can be applied in your industrial kind of practice. Okay? So that's basically what I actually have been, uh, what we call the train and plan uh, for the past few years there, guys, okay? So this is also some of the design works, okay, from uh, those are what we call the characters, okay, those you know, what we call the Japanese kimono, kind of what we call the models into a, a, a bird, kind of what we call the characters there, right, okay? So this is a part of those assignments that we did for the students there, okay? So they managed to develop them, all right, okay, but this is basically not that, yeah, they are like this is mine there, right, okay? So I really have fun to work with it at the same time there, and the student also have been pushed all together to work with it, okay? Uh, that's basically one of the things there. So what else there that we can share with us, right, okay, I guess can share with you guys there. This is some of the storyboard kind of illustrations that storyboard kind of books that came for the clients there. Right? So this is some of the almost detailed kind of storyboard for one of the video projects there, right? Okay. Uh, for a commentary on Kesehatan Malaysia, if I'm not mistaken, is there. Okay, KKM there, right? All right. Uh, this one basically for one of the animated kind of what we call that projects there. The storyboard itself. So I've just done the storyboard there, right, okay? And this is basically some animated kind of, uh, what we call the projects, which is, I'm still basically work on it there, okay? You see right how long is it, okay, 2019 then, all right? So it's a bit kind of like a three different kind of styles in storyboarding kind of design works there, okay? So a bit more, more flowing uh, cartoon styles, a bit more rough, with kind of detail a repeat on the flow for the infographics kind of uh, 2D characters kind of illustration animation kind of styles, and a little bit more like a live actions kind of videos there, right? Okay? Live actions kind of uh, what we call that video graphics there, right? Okay? So you guys can see three different kind of. Storyboard kind of styles that you work. Okay? So, what else there? Uh, this is some of the background design that I actually have made. We animated a bit there, okay? Uh, for one of the projects that I did for uh, Istana Budaya around by the, uh, by the end of 2020 2021, there, right? So, it's very great projects there, right? Okay? Because I have to create those kind of visuals uh, for the way I put it itself. And of course, guys, okay, I have also my YouTube channels there. I just want to share with you guys over here because I want you guys, I want you guys to let know that, to, to let you know, know, know there, right, okay, which is what I have done basically for so many years there, right, okay. But this one basically came from the way I put it, kind of what we call that project there, okay. So this is basically some of those process of developing those kind of visuals here, right. What else? This is other, this is one of the town that I actually have. Okay. Basically, right, okay. My YouTube channel, okay, this is basically when I actually did some demonstration in my class in Aswara there, right? <laughs> okay. Some driving classes over there. Take a moment. Okay, this is basically. Mm -hmm. I would rather okay. tell you the truth than you think I'm an asshole. So Some demonstrations on those gasset robbings. You like me. And I don't want anyone close to me that's going to tell me what they think I want to hear, unless it's the truth. And we do this as leaders, we do this as friends. I would rather tell you the truth. This is basically some of my earliest demonstrations that I did, okay, around before MCO there, okay, before MCO there, right? I'm teaching also 
dry media drawing, some of the wet media drawings that we fold up again in our sessions there. Okay. This is one of the contour line drawings demonstrations there. Basically, my official YouTube channel, basically, right? Okay? It's not basically quite commercial kind of YouTube channel, there, guys. But this is the channel that I made for the students, in order for you guys to learn and understand basically uh, the process of working on it. Right? It's not basically like a commercial one. Okay, it's quite boring, there, guys. There, right? But I believe it's very, quite, very useful for some of the students or some people basically want to learn how it actually works there. But it's very, a very uh, time slap kind of videos there, right? Yeah, meshing there, right? Meshing there. Is it? So, meshing were here, there, right? Yes, sir. This can be from from dinner. Okay. What? Just came back from dinner, is it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next time, bring in over, okay? Some of the food we give for us. All right. This is basically all right. Um, some of the times so are okay, from my previous kind of session with my students there. Okay? How to design those characters, turn ourselves into cartoons there, okay? Uh, last summer's there. Okay. demonstration that I made okay, for those uh, character design okay okay don't get me wrong there okay don't get me wrong there okay this is basically not a tracing kind of style there we're using our skills there okay, in order for us to develop this kind of design okay by using Photoshop we have the layering kind of methods that's why it's more easy for us basically to execute this kind of illustrations there Take guys there, okay? How long does it take that works on that? Around one minute and twenty-seven there, right? Okay, one minute and twenty-seven there, right? So it's quite fast, right? Okay, to uh, to develop at least basically one single illustration there. Is it true? Yeah. We only need at least less than two minutes there to do work to works on it. Okay, for every single assignment there, right? Is it? All right, guys, okay? Any questions there so far? Any questions? Any kind of inquiries there? So I think we can actually end up the sessions earlier there, right? Okay, because of, uh, because you know, right? Okay, because tomorrow you guys also have a new class. 
the, the, the what we call the face to face sessions there, right? About the subjects. All right, any questions there? So this is basically some of my YouTube kind of channels. You guys can check check it out there, okay, later on. Okay, from time to time there, guys, okay? Uh, for meetings, make sure you don't late there, okay? Don't be late, basically, in our face-to-face -face sessions next week, okay? Uh, I really apologize also on behalf of our administration at the same time from my side, okay, because, okay, we have the last minute changes, okay, in our... Uh, a timetable today there okay so i just noticed them there okay and that's why basically i did not basically came earlier okay uh, on our first sessions uh, because i thought basically our session is around 12 o'clock until 2 all right so it's okay as long as we actually can get it around okay at least by today there okay that you guys know basically what is going on about our sessions over here so please okay uh you guys have have basically my numbers there okay please use basically our whatsapp channels okay platform basically to ask anything regarding to our assignments there later on all right okay the rule itself in our sessions especially practical sessions please don't play with your phones there guys if you came late or if you have any kind of problems issues situations which is you cannot basically attend to our sessions please let me know please inform me formally by using email or maybe you guys can also use also our whatsapp platform there okay to inform me there guys same goes to me okay we all we we, we all basically human being there right so we have to stay connected there okay and also inform each one of us right okay, if there is some sort of like issues happen there right, okay problems there okay that you guys cannot attend there right, okay so I'm going to be here basically until week 14, hopefully to assist you guys there, right? So until we meet again there again next week, there are, uh, of course on the Thursday there are sessions. Please don't actually write, skip those kind of lecture class because I'm going to call names also at the same time. And I always, always going to take those attendance, okay? And call the names there again before we're going to start our class there. So thank you very much for having me today, this night, okay? And of course, okay, um, thank you very much also, Meixing, okay, for joining our sessions over here, even though you're quite late there, right? But uh, you can keep track, basically, our sessions inside, basically, our YouTube channels there, right? Okay, my YouTube channels there, right? okay, uh, for today's sessions. All right, so... If you don't have any questions, thank you very much. Have a good day. Have a good night. There, right? Okay. And take care of yourself. Don't sleep late. There, right? Okay. Don't wake up too late. There, right? Okay. Because you have a class in the morning. There. So I have a sessions also tomorrow uh, with another group itself, uh, which is basically around 11 until 1 o'clock and 1 o'clock until 3 p.m. That group 4 and 3. There, right? Okay. So Wednesday, my class is going to be 10 to 12, 12 to 2, and another session for Thursdays around 10 to 12, there are at DKY. So I see you guys around, thank you very much there guys, and hopefully you guys uh, will basically enjoy the ride there right again, and have a good luck, have a good day, and have a blast basically for the semesters, and please basically score on the subject there. I really love basically to see a lot of a good kind of quality of commitment and potential from the student itself there. All right, until we're going to meet up on Thursday, thank you very much. Have a good night there, guys. And have a good day, right? Thank you, sir. Bye-bye there, right? Thank Take care there, right? Thank you, sir. Okay, welcome there, right, okay? Thank you. Welcome there, right? Yes, Mishing, you want to ask me anything there? Yeah, I think I can as my friend. <laughs> yeah, but we are, we are going to be, I'm going to Sorry. repeat some of the details okay, in our lecture class later on, right? okay? On this days. Mm, okay. Alright, thank you very so, much. Then. Sorry, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, bye. Uh, hi, sir. sir. Yes. Uh, do we have any class after this? Me? Uh, yeah. I don't have that, right? Uh, may I bother you for a few minutes? Yeah, I can, all right? Uh, 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 do you have any opinions or what do you think about my icon for this icon? 
What kind of icon there, right? This one there. Uh, uh, yeah. This oh, one. May I share my screen? Yeah, you can share your screen there, right? Okay, but yeah, so. This one basically create by using what? AI generated? Uh, um, I use the Creep truck. Okay. You paint uh, it sorry, you paint it back again, lah. Uh sorry? You paint it back again there, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the thing I is, Raki, right, you have to add more details from there, Raki, right, especially on the shadow itself. Right? But you had using oh. a reference, right? Yeah, I used the reference of the skeletons and the submarine my outfit. Okay, if you can add more details there later on, it's more better, especially on the shadow itself, there, right? Okay, and the shadows itself, Raki. Okay? The most oh. important thing about this illustration, there, right, okay, you need you need to know how to play with shadows and lighting, there, right, at the same time. Oh, okay, I understand. But so far. From this particular kind of work, I can see that you have that kind of understanding on working with those kind of uh, yeah, kind of stuff. That drawing like 2019 or 20, I not sure remember. But do it more directly. If you have your behinds kind of what we call that uh, platform directly or account directly, please basically share with me directly later on there. Oh, okay, sir. Okay. So, okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, welcome there, okay, Yunshen. All the best. Thank you, thank you, sir. All right.